Here we are again. Out on the syndicate. Welcome to my uh, last trip on this water. So this closes at the end of this month, which is being the March, the end of the March. And uh, we're all uh, all part on the airfield lake for the till June the 16th when this one opens. Uh, you might know it's I mean, exactly the same swim again as it was last week. Uh, mostly because the fact that there's quite a lot of people on here really. There wasn't a great deal of choice. Ian and I wanted to be uh, social as much as we can on here because on the airfield lake we end up, uh, you can see where I've been sitting in the sunshine, <laughs> keeping warm. But yeah, where uh, Ian and I have been on the, uh, we'll be on the airfield lake, it's uh, slightly less uh, um, sociable for the sort of like whole day and things like that we have to reel in and come and see each other so depends unless we're what we call the double gravel swim and then we're fine or sort of fishing back to back one on the middle lake and one on the other lake Ian's uh, over to my right I slowly pan round and there's his bivvy same swim as he was last week doing a bit of spomming getting it all out there He's happy. Sunshine is absolutely gorgeous. I must admit, with uh, well, I've been uh, haven't done any filming earlier on. It was just like oh, it's just too hot. I was just recovering from setting up, basically. You know, it's not a lot you can do, really. Uh, I wander over here because there's actually uh, fish in this fish in this bay. Well, there's been a few fish in this little bay area here. Yeah, I don't think you've got to pick it up on this uh, on here. I think you really need, might need a bit of filter on here. Don't know. We'll see. But they're in the corner, so I'm going to have to like, skulk past the uh, skulk past these sort of swims fairly rapidly and see if I can get in the corner and see what I can find really. Uh, I reckon I'll go. Too far from the rods, particularly, but I'm hoping I can sort of pick them up a little bit from from here for you, and sort of maybe see a few on the surface and things. But I think I need to be just a little bit around the bush, to sort of see. They're out in that bit of water here. And they might have even drifted out a little bit further now. There's about ten fish here earlier. I can see one way against the tree line, but I don't think you're gonna really see that. Let me just. Uh, I'm just come around here a little bit, see what we can see. Yes, it's, it's, I'm very tempted to go onto the airfield lake today, but Ian sort of, uh, sort of pointed me in the right direction and said here would be clearly much better. It's the last weekend on here, you're not going to get anything much more. There's a little bit of a and there's a one on the surface just there. I don't think you're really gonna I'll try and zoom in really. Yeah, you're not gonna You just see the mark patterns on the Yeah, you can just see it through there on the surface. Just slowly drifting around, it's got its back out at the moment, Let's see if we can Yeah, it's back out a moment, a moment ago. Just there, it is around there. I don't want to go sort of too close. Spook them a little bit. See if I can get a little bit, uh, a little bit closer. As I said, I don't really think you're going to see them on this at all, whatsoever. And uh, I've, I've had a fish go past me with it back out of the water. You can see it just sort of there, sort of drifting around. There you go. It's probably me to spook it a little bit realistically. And it's now heading off back to back to the corner. There you go. So there's a, two of them there. I came round here a little bit earlier. There's about sort of uh, 15 of them on the on the surface. Yeah. So 
as I say, there's, uh, there's quite a few sort of out here on the surface, as you can see now. I don't know, sort of getting here, spooking them or anything particularly. It's nice to see them moving around, get a little bit of uh, activity going, spell a bit of energy, get out there. I think they've been sitting under these trees for quite a while. It's quite interesting. The one I watched earlier seemed to sort of drift back under under a tree where it had been before. Um, there we go. So they're out and about. They're moving. You know, you might wonder why I'm actually fishing here because it's uh, where we're now to uh, hold them. It's also where we're now to uh, hide them. Mm, interesting. I'm gonna zoom in. I just you know. A little bit of a, a minky thing down here. I if I can uh, get him on camera. A uh, little mink shuffling around. See where it's gone in the water, as can't opposed you? to, uh, you know, it's raw, as they say. Look a bit of raw footage. There's stuff in the bay here as well. It's all right, so that's quite good. Anyway, there's some people to the right of me. I had a well, I've had a couple of fish this morning. I turned up to see someone putting a fish back this morning. And I got here, I think it's about half seven, I got here, caught away. I was a bit sort of, wasn't really on the drag. But, uh, yeah. I just wasn't in a rush, really. I was earlier than I thought it was going to be, to be perfectly honest with you. Didn't quite think it was going to be that early. Oh, the spawning man's out again. Get that going. Out there. So yeah, we're uh, we're looking forward to a few nights on the bank, really. The last uh, the last three nights that we can fish on here until I said until June the sixteenth when it opens up again. It follows the traditional close season. This lake does. So yeah. You might see me back on here then, I don't know. Are we gonna, we're going to try and split it between both lakes this year and try and sort of um, get the best of sort of both worlds if we can. It'll be sort of a bit tricky. But we'll see. But doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous? Really does. Really does look good. <sighs> we shall see. We've got the right hand roll in the same spot as we had all the fish from over the last couple of weeks when we get those three in the night jobbies. Um, we've got one one out in the middle heading over there. A bit of a pause then because I saw something on the surface which uh, hopefully wasn't bream. That'd be ironic wouldn't it? After my tench last week. There you go the geese. Beautiful, beautiful. Cormorant coming down for the landing. Seagulls out there. Yeah, it's looking lovely, isn't it, really? What more could you ask for, really? Really is nice. But yeah, I had a few liners on the left end rod earlier. It was sort of concerning me the fact that I might be too far out, realistically. But looking at what I keep seeing and the other little bits and bobs and things occurring out in the water, I'm feeling I'm. More in the right place than I was before, so should be good, really. Right, I think I've been uh, yabbering for too long. <laughs> I just heard Ian cast as that went by. That was quite funny. I reckon he's just gone over the top of it. <laughs> seagulls are off. Where are the seagulls off? So, yeah, so I know. Well, Looking good, they're quite happy. We're out there, we're sort of, where are we aiming for? That group of trees in the front of me at the moment, that's what I'm aiming for at the moment, slightly different to where I was last week. I often alternate things out there, try and sort of discover where they might be, where they're, where they're feeding. It's, it's a look and try really. Oh, there's some more geese. Oh, they're off. 
The other geese will be off in a moment as well, probably. They're just out there. In the middle of the screen. Funny lot. It'll be all peaceful and quiet for about three hours here now, and then they'll chaos will be all back again and they'll be coming back to roost and haunt us with noise the rest of the night. But we'll see. See how the first night goes. Right. Fingers crossed, ain't? Let's see. Well, morning from a uh, cold bivvy, but as you can see, the sun is finally uh, coming up now and it's going to start warming up for another scorching day out here, which is going to be absolutely lovely. The uh, lady in geese are playing around the island out there, it's relatively uh, sort of quiet, there's a sort of pair heading out towards the island at the moment. They've uh, sort of they come from the island to the right of me and they're quite protective of their area so then it gets a little bit close and they get a little bit uh, a little bit loud but nothing too bad really. Nothing like they are when they're sort of right in springtime and things like that. That's a kingfisher, just giving me a little bit of a, a bleep. That in fact actually is the um, only bleep since um, at 8 o'clock last night. So, uh, surprise me. That changed the subject slightly and zoom in and go, oh, it's just the grebes were a little bit of an amazing dance over there, but they stopped now, so it's a shame. But yeah, going back to that, that was the only, um, only bloke since last night, really. But, uh, um, in a way, I'm sort of not surprised. There's a lot of people on here at the moment. I'm sort of hoping there ends up being sort of less people on here than um, was last Friday. Everyone seems to have decided to come down and do the last sort of week or something like that. So, so I'm having a sip of coffee. I don't get my throat less crackly and clearer. You can see me slurping away, probably, but. Uh, these things have got to be done, haven't they? So I'll be done. Yeah, it sort of, say, it sort of doesn't surprise me because the sheer volume of people on here. I think there's a guy opposite doing a quick night. He seems to have uh, gone now. He's just doing a long evening that turned into a quick night. I don't know, really. Uh, yeah, so I'm really sort of hoping a few people um, disappear, really, to be perfectly honest with you. They don't. Um, yeah, could be a could be a tricky one. Suddenly go from no pressure to suddenly extreme amount of pressure. Have to uh, to see it really. But yeah, it's going to be a nice day. It's, it's nice to be out here even with my uh, little pair of Canadians that uh, you know, just, they go backwards and forwards. They do. They'll come across now and then give it about half an hour and they come back again. They don't make much noise, I'm not complaining about that. Yeah. Bless them. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not going to touch these rods today. We're going to leave them. We'll refresh them the baits later on before dark, but realistically, we're just going to leave them. We're going to hope for some daytime bites. I don't know if completely given up the ghost for a uh, Bite this morning, considering uh, when I got here yesterday, I saw a couple of people, well, one playing a fish and one, um, one back. That was sort of 10 to 8 and something like that. Um, I know where the guy's casting to the, he's going to swim to the right of me. I think he, he says a reasonable chance of actually intercepting my fish, to be perfectly honest with you. So that kind of affected my chances as well because two of them doubled up in there. Be interested to see if they're off today. They've just done um, five nights and uh, as of yesterday afternoon, two tension a carp. So feel their pain a little bit. I must say, really, what I need is a uh, single person in there tonight. One doubled up or anything like that. 
clearly, clearly do a bit of a play in it. Uh, I think they do intercept them. Cuts me off a little bit, but uh, it can be like sometimes. Oh well, sit through it a day and enjoy the lovely sunshine and scenery. Never can complain, can you? And a lovely view over there, and you slightly uh, the house in the distance. Uh, very good, really. Well, then we'll rattle off soon. I know it won't. Quite confident about the whole thing, isn't you? Realistically, there's nothing wrong with the spots they're in, there's nothing wrong with the baiting up. Uh, yeah. Just wait. And uh, they will go. Right, we shall catch up with you later, people. Well, the sun is going down on an absolute gorgeous day. Absolutely beautiful. I've even got sort of everything open, my bivy, all my windows and doors open. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. But no, it's absolutely lovely. They've had a pleasant afternoon. Um, nice bit of sc scram. A few glasses and uh, be nice to catch a fish, eh? But at the moment, isn't the case. Uh, I just have to see, really. Two guys on the swim to the right of me have actually um, gone home. I'm hoping no one else goes in there, but you never can tell whoever's going to arrive soon. Might just pop in there. Just have to take it as it comes, realistically. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, tonight, might produce me a fish or two. I just don't know. There's a lot of people on here. It is, it's just like summer's, summer's arrived. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But we're going to sit here... Uh, Mozzie windows open and just enjoy that last rays of sunshine and the warmth and watch the world go by and uh, sort of uh, see where we go really I've uh, put the rods back out in the same spots fresh baits on mm, I haven't put any extra bait out there at all just left it and uh, fingers crossed to see how it goes realistically Right, so hopefully we'll um, catch up in the night and see how we get on, really. Well, good morning. It's about ten past six. I'm up bright and early this morning. Just trying to spot fish and things like that. I heard one crash. Sort of, um, to my right, back at the distance this morning, so... Just never know, something was out about last night, but, yeah. Complete silence again. Absolute complete silence last night. <sighs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. See the sun's slowly coming up. It's going to look quite nice. Let's take it from there, really. I'm not really sure what to say this morning. Uh, I know the pressure's high. And the pressure of anglers is higher than normal on here, but whoa. No one's really put a lot of bait out. You can sort of expect uh, a little bit more than that. Strange, really. Put some thought into this, and uh, yeah, just well, just see, really. See what we go, uh, see what we do. Not a great deal of choices on what to do front, I must say, but. Yeah. Radio. That's myself luck, really. Hmm. Well, here we are on the last evening. Um, I wouldn't say I very nearly went home, but I put a bit of thought into going home. But this is realistically the last night I'm fish on here until. Um, 
June. So I think it'd be awfully silly going home to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I do have to be up early tomorrow morning, get home early as it's Mother's Day and uh, get the if you get everyone organised, get in the car and head down to Weymouth for the day uh, for a bite to eat, which will be very nice and lovely. So, you've got to do that realistically, as the family most kindly and definitely lets me go fishing two or three nights a week, which is good. So, I pan around and you see me set up. I'm just sitting on my chair outside my bivy at the moment, enjoying the, uh, enjoying the surroundings. Just cook myself some uh, lasagna and... Um, chips on the old weather which is just down there as you can see it'll be nice look forward to that be all good doesn't scram into me then get the rest of my stuff sorted out I want to try and get as much as I can in the car tonight because I don't really want to um, get up so early in the morning in the morning realistically to pack up so I don't have to get it all in the car tonight but it does uh, does make life does make life easy for me to be perfectly honest with you. So I'm just 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 in the off chance out here. Catch a couple of fish in the night. I can uh, I can sleep, but uh, yeah, just have to see. There's a couple of Canadian geese over there. Just passing by. There's a swan coming as well. In the afternoon sunshine. The Canadian geese have found some weed to feed. Weed to feed on. Yeah, weed to feed on. There goes the old swan, just off the tip of the things. Yeah, the geese are now on a mission now because they're a bit panicking that the swan is going to uh, go and have a little go at their nest. <laughs> Bless. They're very protective, these two. They go backwards and forwards all day long. It's quite blessing, really. They're going up the other side of Ian and um, eat, the, uh, eat the grass and they just sit up there for a few hours. Uh, there's a couple of less people now on here now. So, and everyone's really well spread out, so I'm, I'm feeling quite confident as well that we might just bag a, might just bag a blank saver tonight. You just never know, really. I haven't touched my rods, I've just left them there since yesterday when I cast them out in the afternoon. Still no more bait, I've just left stuck with the bait that I put out in the first place. Do it like that, that's all we can do realistically. And just well, hope and pray that something, one of these rattles off. Said I've, I've, oh, you know, this is the same swim I fished, uh, you know, sort of like uh, not last week, the week before, or last week and the week before that. I mean, and um, yeah, so I've, I've had six fish out of here in three weeks, so there's no reason why why I can't catch another fish out of here. Not at all, realistically. So you know, you just gotta give it one more, one more night, one last night. See how we get on. Uh, fingers crossed, and then uh, yeah, next week it will be the uh, it will be the airfield lake, and we'll be on there until. Um, oh, I don't know. We're gonna we're on there until June the sixteenth, definitely, and then we'll take it from there. I think the most disheartening thing about this year, which I haven't mentioned for a bit, and I don't think I've mentioned it on our, my video really, um, was due to start a brand new syndicate. On a lovely estate, it's never been fished for carp, and there's some absolute unknown monsters in there. You know, some, had a walk round, saw a few fish, spoke to the guy setting up the syndicate, seen some fish. Oh, you know, started building some swims, started on the toilet block. Really exclusive syndicate it was going to be, booking on system. Oh, you just couldn't want for more. Really couldn't want for more. Every chance of some absolute monsters in there. Because the lake had been has been there for decades. Decades. And yeah, unfortunately the uh, person that owned the estate decided that uh, it's better to get a government grant to do some rewilding. And uh, apparently have otters, lynx, and beavers on there. Which to be perfectly honest with you, looking at the surrounding the hills and the information you need to um, have that sort of habitat for those sort of species, I think she's actually gonna lose out, really, and have none of that and, and no government grant at all. 
Unfortunately, the small amount of money that um, we were going to be paying her, comparable to the extortionate amounts of money you get from the government for a grant, um, yeah, money talks, doesn't it, really? And it, and it did, which is a real shame. It was due to open on the 1st of March, and we found out about one week before. Really sad. Really sad indeed, and, and really sad for the guy that set it up. I, I, yeah. I truly feel sorry for him, and I'm probably sure he lost out. I'm hoping he didn't lose out, and I'm hoping he got every penny back, plus more, to be perfectly honest with you. That's so unfair. It even stocked it with a few fish as well, just to sort of make sure that there's a, a good balance in there. But yeah, that's where I should have been. And that would have been absolutely gorgeous the last couple of weeks, wouldn't it, on there? Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. So, we will be on the airfield lake. We'll be enjoying the airfield lake again as always. And uh yeah. Hopefully catching a few carp. It's gonna be uh, the usual um, battle against the fifteen pounders. Trying to uh you know trying to find the bigger fish, uh, hunt them down, get them in the net instead of the little ones. But you can't pick what picks up your bait as they say. It's what comes along comes along realistically. But yes, yeah, lovely evening. Food smelling gorgeous. I think I might have to um, press stop on this because it um, shake my chips around a little bit and check my sign is doing pretty good. Right, well, I might do a little bit more if the sun goes down because it would be absolutely gorgeous and stunning later on. And uh, as long as I remember to do my uh, roundup before I leave the lake, all will be good, really. Wonderful, eh? Absolutely wonderful. This is the life, isn't it? Weber barbecue on the go, Italian meatballs, potato squares. Ah, oh, it's gonna be beautiful, absolutely fantastic. Look at this, look at this evening. Absolutely fantastic evening. We shall see how we get on, not 100% sure. It's sort of like the last weekend you can fish on here. It's increasingly getting busy. I don't think there's too many swims free at the moment but hopefully with where I've positioned my baits and things like that it won't be a bad place to be fishing to be fair but there we go just watching the sun finally go down get this food underway and it all should be pretty good hopefully I'll catch up with you in the night if not I'll give you an update in the morning beautiful well good morning everyone it's uh, seven o'clock in the morning on uh, Mother and Sunday, clocks have just changed. Uh, it's really six o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm just starting to pack up to get home and uh, do all my family stuff. Um, yeah, the sun's slowly starting to peek its head through, I reckon. Um, yeah, not a sausage, not a bleep. <laughs> Complete rubbish, really, isn't it? Absolute rubbish, eh? Well, there's not a lot else I can say, and not a lot else I can do about that one. But it certainly is what it is. And it's the last weekend on uh, here. I've never uh, sort of fished up, not quite to the end, but the last weekend. Uh, but this year's been a very, very strange year on here, to say the least. Really, really has. It's been a struggle. And the hardest winter I've come across on here for a long, long time. So, what do you expect, I suppose? But there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Sorry I didn't catch anything, but uh, that is fishing for you. And that is uh, how it all goes. There we go. I shall catch up with you soon. On the, uh, back on the airfield lake and big wide open spaces and lakes and things like that. But there we go. Right. See you soon, folks.